couple of years ago, I ran around this block 26 times, which I did at the top of the hour, every hour for 24 hours. In between, I did a heap of things that I'd been meaning to do on the farm and in the barn, all listed on an old cupboard door, fixing things, planting trees, making stuff and odd jobs. One of the things on the list was make a baby. Make a baby. Which didn't happen. <laughs> what do we need, 10 minutes? But it has since, and May has come along. People have been asking about May and the trees I planted ever since the film came out. So this story is about May and I loading up the wheelbarrow with tools and doing a lap of the block to check on the trees. And no doubt see things and do things and whack things and eat stuff and generally get distracted by anything or anyone. You OK? Given it's Christmas and because I like fixing things... See ya! We'll do a few nice things for others as we go. Till busted. I reckon this might be the fullest and slowest mile I've ever done. You were the last thing on the list to be built. Was make a baby, and sure enough, here you are. Here's the table that I made, and we're gonna go visit the trees that were planted. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Okay, you got your book there? Ready to do a lap around the block? Come on, let's go pick up rubbish and do jobs and see trees grow and eat plums. <laughs> hey, we're gonna pass the mama. How fun's that? Can you see mummy? Bye bye. All right, the aim is Dale, we'll follow all distractions. During a mile an hour, I planted 50 plants, including about 30 trees, half of which have survived the rabbits and the bugs. Here's a blackberry, let's whack it. You ready? Whack, got it. Now we all champion ideas through our kids, passing on our interests and worldview. And trees happen to be one of the things that interest me the most. So I'm going to do a bit of weeding around it. Whack, whack. Whack, whack. whack, whack. So this lap, like many I think will do in the future, is about taking notice of trees. Bring it up a little bit. As a new parent, I couldn't think of a better idea to pass on to May. Come on, let's say hi to the cows. Hi. Oh, here's the cows. Wow. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Moo. Good girl. Yeah. Drone. Yeah, that's the drone. <laughs> Clever. Maybe we should plant your tree today, May. That's a good idea. Mark the occasion of our first long mile. How yeah, did I plant a tree in there? Oh, look at the drone, love. What a beautiful day, May. Super healthy, Dale. How are you going with that string? You're making a knot out of that string? Good. Three trees. They're doing really well. I think your interest is more with the string at the moment. I want you to grow up disliking blackberries and willows as much as your dad. If I'd said to someone, I want you to create a knot out of that rope, they would not be able to do it as good as you. May is teaching me the art of backyard adventuring. Small things becoming big again as I, I think I sort of shed my sense of adulthood. Which for me, for a long time, has been going far and wide. Apple? That is an apple tree. We'll stop at the next plum up here. What plum? You pick one. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a blackberry too. Let's whack that. Did you swallow the pip? Very quiet country roads, love. Okay, where we go? I got plum skin in my teeth. You've only got four and a half teeth. I don't think that's a big issue for you. I look forward to the day when I can sit in the wheelbarrow and you can wheel me around. Do we have scissors? Sure do. See these tree guards? They don't need to be on anymore. There's one, two tree guards off. Got a tin. Ding. There's a rabbit hole. See the rabbit hole? Hello, rabbit. Sometimes snakes live down them too. Our love of blackberries. Good work, Dale. I'm not much of a preacher, at least I hope not to be which I actually think makes me a bad teacher sometimes. But what I am is a doer. 
and I'm pretty positive when I'm doing things or fixing things. I really enjoy it, and so life is pretty easy this way. Look, is that a project for Daddy? It's all broken. 600 by 400, can you remember that? So by default, May grows up in this pretty positive, doing household. Helen's much the same, she's a real doer. Maybe that's the biggest thing I can give to May as a parent, is doing things and positivity. Our life's really good that way, and then it just rubs off. Oh, nice bit of shade up here, we can have a plum. Mmm. -hmm. You got a feather and a plum. Good spoils of war, man. Hi, car. That's a red car. There's a stick. Keep it out of the lawnmower's way. When I did this block repeatedly for a mile an hour, it was mostly about sort of rebooting myself for tasks back at home. It wasn't really about what was happening on the block itself. It served the utility of distance. With May along, I have to pay more attention to things because it makes me interested, which makes her interested. There's a dirt bag bit of rubbish. It's a great form of presence. Look, love, in the bucket. Being distracted like a chicken, a one-year-old is. There's a milk truck. That's like a giant mummy, full of milk. Doggy. Horse. Yeah. This here letterbox doll needs some love. Gee, it's pretty dicky, isn't it? Three. 50 by 320. Boom. Horrible plastic bag full of I don't know what. Always worries you when there's something in a bag. A nappy. What did I say? 350 by 320. Your pocket money in the future might well be determined on your ability to remember numbers. On the proviso that your brain is getting sharper as mine's getting slower. And here we are, Dal. There's our lap of the block, my longest ever one hour. A mile with May, a mile with my best mate. I suppose you're my best mate now. Helen's been trumped. Here we are, back into the shade of the barn. Ah. All right, so May's gone to sleep. So I reckon I've got about two hours to, to make two letter boxes. Hmm. Yeah, what a bottler. I've always loved fixing things or turning discarded things into something else. And kids love this kind of stuff. I'm not sure if May will be a fixer or a maker when she grows up, but I hope she is. It's what my folks taught me. And here I am in my self-made barn, problem solving and using tools, and I bloody love it. One side of Jeff's letterbox. Sweetie, let's go plant your tree. Mapping May against the health and vitality of these trees. Good girl, yeah, grab some dirt. It's kind of like a better version of seeing how tall she is up against a, a door frame. What an excellent measurement of health and vitality. Bye, mummy. Watching these trees grow as May does. This block to May right now is, is as big as a continent. It is full of wondrous places. Oh, there's a feather. Feather. And it takes parenthood to bring me back to these spaces. May is super engaged, and I'm engaged because she is, and you have this wonderful feedback loop of an older and a younger person getting a kick out of the same thing. All right, the coast looks relatively clear. We were sprung! <laughs> I've got your new mailbox. I, I hope you don't mind, it's fully waterproof, it's cool as. See you team. It's great doll. Yeah, it's turned out real good. It's excellent. It is, isn't it's it? It's actually really good. Cool. It's a really nice one, better than ours. Yeah. Far out doll, I thought this was going to be about fixing a few letter boxes and eating plums and picking up rubbish, but it's been... Plum? Plum? 
So it's been a bit of an insight into parenting. Teaching me how to become a parent and a backyard adventurer. Looking at all the small things again. Horse. Horse, yeah, don't get any ideas. Sheep. Yeah. I'll buy you a goat, but I'm not buying you a horse. Horsey. Horsey. Horsey, horsey. Can you say goaty, goaty? Can you say goat? 